In this video, we'll learn how to create a reusable form component for adding and updating data in a Blazor web application in .NET 8. Please note that this video is the fifth video in my playlist where I show how to create a database and how to save, read and update data. In the simple book catalog project, let's open add new.razor. Here we have used the edit form component to accept input data. And also if you open the edit component, here again we have used the edit form component with a few changes applied to it. Since there is some duplicated razor markup, let's create a reusable form component that encapsulates edit form. Right click the components folder and select add razor component and name the component book form. Let's get rid of the heading. Now let's go to the code block. First we need to identify whether we are adding a new book or updating an existing book. So let's define a public property of type bool called is edit mode and initialize it to false. So this means that by default we are adding a new book. Decorate the property with a parameter attribute. Then let's define a property of type int called book id and decorate it with a parameter attribute. And a nullable property of type book, call it book. And since we want this property to be supplied from form data, Let's decorate this property with supply parameter from form attribute. And let's define an expression body for a member called title that will be used to set the form's title. So when we are in edit mode, we need to set the form title to edit book along with the book ID. So let's use string interpolation here. Say dollar within double quotes, edit book within curly braces, book ID. If you are not in edit mode, let's set the title to add new book. Now when the component is initialized, we'd like to talk to the book repository to populate the book property. So let's inject ibook repository, call it repository and let's override on initialized async lifecycle method. And inside that we can check if is edit mode book null coalescing assignment operator question mark question mark equals await repository dot get by id async pass in book id else book null coalescing assignment operator new so this means that if we are not in edit mode we are simply instantiating a new book now let's add the required razor markup for our form so at the top here say at if book is not null now we would like to use the edit form component. So go to the edit page and copy this edit form component and come back to the book form component and paste it here. Let's set the form name to add or edit book form and let's set the on valid submit parameter value to add or edit book. And for the heading, Let's use a razor expression to evaluate the title member that we created earlier. And we want to have the hidden input field only if we are in edit mode. So let's say atif is edit mode. And put the hidden input field inside this block. Let's now define the add or edit book method. So let's scroll down and say private async task add or edit book. Now this method will be called when the form is submitted. Now from the book form component, we would like to inform the parent component that the form has been submitted. So over here at the top, let's define a public property of type even callback of book and call it on valid book submit and decorate the property with the parameter attribute and inside the add or edit book method, let's invoke that even callback by saying await on valid book submit dot invoke async and pass in the book. Now we are done with the book form component. Let's go to the add new page and remove the edit form component and replace it with the book form component. Set is edit mode equals false and set on valid book submit equals add book. And in the code block, we don't need this book property anymore. And let's have the add book method accept a parameter of type book and pass that book argument to the add async method. Now let's work on the edit page. Let's replace this edit form component with book form component. 
set is edit mode to true and set book id to at id and finally set the on valid book submit parameter to edit book and we don't need this if block so let's remove it let's go to the code block and remove the book parameter and the on initialized racing life cycle method and for the edit book method let's add a parameter of type book and within the method let's remove the if condition and finally pass the book argument to the update async method with all these changes in place let's run the app to see if the application works just fine add a new book with title new book title 123 and author new book author 123 enter some publication date and set the category to fitness now let's try editing that book click on the edit button change the book title to new book title 456 and the book author to new book author 456 change the publication date and also change the category to travel we can see the changed book title and author name and if we click on the edit button we can see the changes in our publication date and category as well so that's it for this video hope you found the video useful thanks for watching